I swear when I saw this, I, that got me excited. Like I was real pumped. Hi there. Welcome to an updated body skincare routine. I'm gonna show you what products I use basically on a weekly basis. Some of them I just use them when I think about them, okay? I'm gonna be real with you and I don't typically do this every week. I just when I have the time. For the shower part, it's good because I'm literally sitting on my bathtub. I do have three different products, even four. For the just the part of washing, right now, currently, this is my body wash. It's a cheap brand from cheap store, literally from Lidl. It smells really good. It's with coconut oil and it smells like cocoa, cocoa butter smell. And I love this. I try to every day wash my body with this. I didn't because I'm just too lazy, you know? It takes more time because then you have to drain it and rinse it, you know? Then for the intimate parts, I have a separate body gel. gel? <laughs> body gel it's this one you can find it in pharmacies i don't even know if you can find it actually because i live in france basically my gynecologist recommended it to me so if you have one ask them because it's really important to differentiate your body wash and your intimate part wash then i have this one it's a lipica cleansing oil so you could say like you can use that on your face well actually it's more it turns more into a regular shower gel i just kept it but honestly i've been having it for um, a year and i barely used it this is a pretty tiny packaging so if i really loved it i would have finished it by now lipid replenishing cleansing oil anti-irritation anti-scratching i think it's just literally a cleanser like body cleanser that's called cleansing oil but it doesn't really do the job like for example i want to show you a picture but i had a, an avon sunscreen that made me so white and i tried to put it on my arm and remove it with this right because it's cleansing oil i thought like let me use it for when i have body sunscreen you know as a first wash just kind of like what i do on my face you know double cleansing and it didn't remove it barely so I was like, okay, this is not a cleansing oil. Another wash that I have right now, it's the Necessaire body wash and it's the eucalyptus scent. This, I love it, but could have maybe bought another scent. Not really for me, you know, it's more like man vibes, but I love everything about it. Like the packaging, the texture, this system, the packaging basically, I love the feeling. I love it, but this was sent to me as PR, honestly, and it was a mistake. They thought I lived in the US. They didn't know I lived in France. And when they approved to send me this, they were like, give me your address. And I gave my address and they were like, oh, we don't ship to France. I was like, okay, well, you approved me those. And they were like, we can do this just this time. So they had like contacts in Europe to send me this and I have two other necessary products these are my only necessary products ever are you kidding <laughs> i want to cherish this and keep it with me my whole life this is basically the body wash i use when i really want to splurge you know <laughs> it has vitamins in there it's really thick love the texture honestly i love how it foams but it's mostly like you feel that it's a uh, skincare product the smells just feel makes you feel like you're in a hotel so i love that vibe but for a daily wash that's not really what i want to smell like something else this thing i put it in my shower not even on my sink meaning i use this almost more for my body than my face this is a salicylic acid cleanser and i recommend this if you have acne on your face every morning if you're acne prone and you're breaking out every morning something i really discovered was amazing i use it on my back knee yes your girl has back knee it's working really good because i watched a video where a derm said that when you have back knee or body acne to have a benzoyl peroxide wash let it sit on the parts where you have acne for like the length of a song the longest song you have on your phone you listen to it and then you rinse it off basically around two three minutes minimum and 
best is like five minutes so i do that sometimes when i have acne on my back in just like a week pimples are all dried it's becoming scars now it's another product that you're gonna need to tackle that i mean it really calms the pimples down and cures body acne something to point out if you have any type of body acne do not exfoliate physically for example when i use this on my body to shower or also i didn't show you i have this also from the body shop it's made with hemp fabric when i use either or these i go over it with this or with my hand really gently because you don't want to scratch pimples open this i'm trying to use it every day this is really gentle again it depends on how hard you're using it on your skin how rough you're being if i take two showers a day though i will just use it once this though is so rough this should be used once a week if you're not using any scrub on your body this is either this or scrub once a week so this is my scrub from necessaire also this is also the eucalyptus scent super interesting the texture very nourishing it exfoliates nourishes and renews so um this is again something i'm really trying to save to make it last the longest i can and that's why i'm using the hemp glove from the body shop more than this much as my shirt mm. it, it's very interesting because it's black i love how heavy this is I don't know why it just screams luxury it turns into a milky milky texture but it doesn't lather i kind of love it but it's a really gentle exfoliant so you're not getting a lot a lot out of exfoliation but again that's pretty much the point this would definitely be a product that I would give to a man. They would smell, they would be like, yes, this is made for men more than for women. Okay, so we've done my whole shower. Do you see this? This basket of products? This is actually my body skincare products. Let's see. That's actually so cute, right? <laughs> in the lines of exfoliation and in the shower type of thing, there's this volcanic rock. I bought it in the grocery store and I wouldn't buy it again. I would buy these electric rock that just spins on itself to exfoliate your feet. So once a week for like ideally two minutes on each foot, I need to show you a bomb, like literally a holy grail product. For everyday use, you can just use your body lotion and then put it on your feet. But this is a holy grail. This is a French brand again. I found it in a French pharmacy because you know, French pharmacies are heaven. <laughs> I love to spend time there. You always have to buy something when you go in a French pharmacy. If you're a skincare addict, you have to buy something. This is so good because I used to have really deep crevices in my feet. I used to really lack in terms of rubbing my feet with this now i make it a habit to do it every week and also to use this so it's recommended basically to use it for seven days straight at first feet or hands or elbows it took me yeah around a week or 10 days because there were days where i forgot to use it i put it at night before sleep and then they recommend to use it two to three times a week after when you're finally reaching the ideal look of your skin of your feet then the body looks Ocean. Uh, mine currently is very simple, very cheap. Just bought it for the smell and the pump because I like pumps better than pots. This is from a French brand again, Le Petit Marseillais. It's with shea butter, sweet almond oil, and argan oil. It's a nutrition, very dry skin uh, range. I'm gonna try to link all these products actually in my Amazon storefront. Could be a great thing, could be a good idea. I think I have body skincare categories, so you can find it here, but I think it's gonna be really expensive. Body lotions, wherever you live. This is a daily body lotion that I don't really care to use all the time, you know? This is more like like the bougie lotions these are like the body shop butters i love the smell of them they're really strong though i don't really recommend this one i don't like the smell but i have another one i'm so excited to start my stepfather basically gifted me the hemp line this little gift set from the body shop and there's a hemp body butter i am so excited you know why and there's a hand cream and there's a lip balm i'm so excited not because it's with ham it's because of the look because it's green also i love anything green in my favorite color can we just appreciate how perfect 
this is it looks really thick though and i don't want to ruin this even not even for you guys i don't want to ruin this maybe I, i'm just speaking too fast but how perfect is that i swear when i saw this I, that got me excited like i was real pumped and i was like okay as soon as i finish this british rose vibrator i'm definitely going in with this so i'm almost done with it i kept it to make a reel about it still haven't done it this one is really interesting though because i don't know if you can see but when you swatch it it turns into a pinky shimmery look so cute but this the smell is too strong for me too floral i like to smell more like rich sweet scent you know lotion for after sun that also was a part of a birthday gift french brand it's an after sun lotion really nothing amazing but has a mono smell something you can have i wouldn't recommend this brand though i would recommend more like a pharmaceutical brand derm approved something it's always derm approved it's if it's made in france it's derm approved but i would buy something more like expert base for any sun care any uh because basically this is when you've been too long in the sun this is for cooling your sunburn or you definitely need something that is going to really heal it it's not mono smelling cream that's gonna really heal it if you reached that point that means you are now wearing your sunscreen <laughs> i have another one so these are the the sunscreens that i use for my body i'm running out of this one i can't even use the pump anymore it doesn't go out i need to basically open the cap this one is really super good i recommend it it just makes you a little sticky it's basically the same line as the uh anthelios for your skin for your face sorry and it's really good the quality is amazing it's an invisible spray it's made for kids i know if anything it's even better because you know it's made for sensitive skin it's non fragranced uh, very water resistant resistant to sweat and sand uvb uva protection you know pa plus 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 so really recommend it just know you're gonna be a little sticky this is why i bought this one oil control sun spray it's transparent it says dry touch which is totally true everyone is afraid that it's gonna look like an oil because the packaging because the liquidy texture because it says oil but literally it says oil control french people just see oil but it's basically just a water texture it makes you matte the smell is pretty much alcohol because it's the first ingredient which is normal in sunscreens not to be the first ingredient but sometimes they have alcohol for the preservation the formula don't be like reluctant to buy sunscreen because it has alcohol you know it's really gonna be hard to find sunscreens without alcohol so gotta bear with it smells alcohol and yeah it says uh, rapid absorption non-sticky not greasy and water resistant that's the one i prefer in my body sunscreens and this one is um day long i didn't know that brand it's also for kids it's basically a milky texture i hate the smell it leaves a pretty small white cast when you really work it in it goes away it's also extra water resistant <laughs> i forgot two products it's also a necessary product this one this is also multi vitamin moisturizer for your body it's also facial skincare great again i don't use it a lot because i want to keep it but i love that it's non-fragrance where you have acne go for non-fragrance fragrance free so what i do basically in the shower i use the salicylic acid cleanser and then i put this when i lotion my whole body i don't lotion with this on my back or anywhere i have acne i use this because it's more skincare grade also something i do when i get out of the shower if i have body acne is use a spot treatment because i know it's my back you know my back handles more than my face so i will use not only the cleanser but a spot treatment the spot treatment i use is the succinic acid from the ordinary it's a blemish treatment it's very spot based like you're, you're not going to use that on your whole back because you wouldn't have any product left <laughs> what i use also it can just be my facial skincare basically um these are my bha products i'm burning out of this one but you can definitely put that on your back i mean you already did the cleanser you know it has bha in there so if you want to go extra extra effort the extra mile you can use that when you're dry out of the shower and then put this lotion on top to seal it in and 
make sure you're still moisturized, you know, because your body still needs moisture. It's not by making it dry that the pimples are gonna go away and the acne scars are gonna go away. So this is more like to target the active acne and prevent them. When you're doing your facial skincare with any toner or pads, this is Bactual pads, basically gentler retinol. This is a PHA gentler AHA. When you're doing your facial skincare with any pads or cotton with a toner that's exfoliating, after you're done using it on your face, just put the cotton everywhere. Swipe it on your acne scars wherever you have them. I'm trying to finish this. I did a reel on that and I thought this was gonna be my holy grail for my body acne, my pimples, but it was not. It didn't do anything. I was disappointed because it has salicylic acid in there, but it says it's for dry, rough, bumpy skin, right? It's more for keratosis pilaris. So basically when you have either here, I used to have them here, or on your thighs, sometimes you have little bumps, like strawberry legs. This is for this. So now I'm just using it on my thighs, even though I don't have keratosis pilaris, I will not repurchase. There you go, wow. It was way longer than I thought it would be. I hope you found that interesting talking. I will try to do some B-rolls to show you demonstrations of how to use these products or textures, but I don't really like to do this because it's my body and I don't like to show it. I'm trying to stay modest, stay in the Lord's um, call for me, and I also respect my fiance and myself, so I don't want to show my body on camera. I hope that I could still help you with my, my skincare routine for my body and my little notes and tips that I have. So see you around next time. I hope you have an amazing week. Be blessed. I love you guys. See you. Bisous.